Hello again, Pokemon fans! This, once again, is Jeff of the Game Capital, and today, we're gonna open up a stack of packs of Pokemon Sun and Moon Team Up. I basically got as many packs I could reasonably hold in one hand, and coincidentally, it, I count afterwards, is exactly 36 packs. So this is the equivalent of a booster box. Just show you here what I mean. I took about a box we have, and I can maybe get a couple more squeezes in there, but as many as I felt I could, like, lift out of a box with one hand without them just, you know, absolutely flying everywhere. So just tear right in here and see what goodies we can find from this stack of packs of Pokemon Sun and Moon Team Up. Shall we? And first pack magic coming through. I can tell what it is already. It's not the one we want to find, but it's still first pack magic with that My Mime, Mr. Mime, GX Magic Odds. So first pack, we at least get something with a little bit of shine to it. We got two Kangaskhans, one pack as well. Not that that's very relevant, but it happened. I'm just pointing it out. That's all. And if you want to see a lot more of this set opened, we've opened a lot of this set already on this channel. Uh, I did a booster case opening, a booster box opening. I opened 400 packs along with Cody. Um, I also opened 400 packs a couple of times thereafter via live stream. I think I put at least one, if not two of those, um, here on the channel afterwards. Uh, the overall viewing quality of those is not as good because it's not this typical setup with the appropriate lane and such. Um, but did the best I could with those, so if the image quality is of utmost importance to you, there's a nice Gyarados Hollow. Uh, those probably aren't the best video choices for you. Not the best representation of the image quality and such we typically have in our videos. Not saying we're, you know, top, top notch or anything, but, uh... This video in particular, or for example, much better image quality than what uh, the openings that were originally uh, via Twitch live stream represent. But if you do want to see more openings, both physically, uh, virtual on PCGO, and PCGO gameplay, make sure if you aren't already, you are following us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Uh, you can follow there. You can also subscribe there if you so choose. Uh, subscribers get use of our Phoebus emote, and you get to be, a, you know, a top-level member of the Phoebus cult. So, if you want to be a part of that, you got to be following, first and foremost, twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Um, I'm streaming on there every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday is my primary schedule. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, I typically start uh, by 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, this video is going live on a Tuesday, so uh, this video should be live... Hopefully by 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, so about an hour after this video goes live, I should be live on Twitch. And I'm usually streaming for at least two to three hours. And there's the Egg Splat Executor. Not bad. In expanded. Standard, not really. But definitely has a place in expanded thanks to the Propagation Execute. But yes, yeah, so Mondays and Tuesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern start. Thursdays, usually more like an 8 p.m. Eastern start. And then I usually... Uh, should be able to stream either Friday and or Saturday as well. Um, those aren't like scheduled or expected or planned streams. Um, but I usually will find time to get one extra stream in during the week that's not scheduled. Friday or Saturday evening is the most likely outcome. Um, this past most recent week, I did not get a stream in Friday or Saturday. Um, but more often than that, I should get at least one stream in that isn't the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday scheduled evening live streams. Now, I do still plan on the live streams to do more than just Pokemon based stuff, but so far it's been pretty much exclusively Pokemon. Um, so if you are a fan of more than just Pokemon and you want us to be streaming other things, please let me know any suggestions or recommendations you may have. Um, I did stream Apex Legends one night, uh, which is my first time playing a first person shooter. Um, in like 15 years since I was a freshman or sophomore in college playing Halo. So I, w I wasn't very good. I think I got over a dozen games in and I died more than that many times because a couple times I got revived by my teammates and then would die again. And I, I got zero kills in all of my games. So and that's how awesome I am with that game. But, you know, sometimes it might be amusing to watch someone like me play a game like that who is terrible. Maybe make some other people feel better that... You know, if they only get one kill here and there, you know, here, here's someone who can't get any kills. So maybe it'll make you feel better about your own gameplay as well. Who knows? Who knows? 
But we finally got another ultra rare. Finally, I think I think it's Lycanroc. There's the other. So back to back packs, we get Alolan Executor, the two different, and we get the Lycanroc GX with Twilight Eyes ability, Excel Rock, and the Splintered Shards GX attack. And there's one of the hats. So so far, not so hot. Not so hot. Two GXs, one Hollow, and two Wondrous Labyrinth Prism Stars. But there we struck gold. Not the best of gold, but it is gold nonetheless. Metal Goggles. There is the shiny shine that shines so secretly and goldenly. That's not really a word, but yeah. We'll take it. We'll take it. You know, overall, the secret rares in this set are kind of lackluster as far as the trainers go. Um, Pokemon Communication is the one you want to find. I think all the other secret rare gold trainers in this set are going for under $10 right now. You got Metal Goggles, you got Dangerous Drill, Electro Charger? Sure. And I feel like there's one more. I think there's five different secret rares in all. Um, but, yeah. Wait, did I just name three besides Metal Goggles? Danger. So Metal Goggles, Dangerous Drill, Electro Charger... Um, I think there's one more besides the Pokemon communication, but maybe I'm mistaken, but I think I'm just having a brain fart. All good. Reverse hollow Zapdos. We'll take that. We'll take that. Not a hollow, but it does the same thing. And another egg splat Alolan Executor. All right. Not a bad pack there for a green code result. We take those. We take those. Let's see, Flaffy Reverse and Agislash Hollow. So that's just our fifth white code. Not sure how many packs in we are. Well, it looks like we're probably around halfway, so I guess we're on the right pace. Just haven't gotten any of the super desired hits just yet. But there's still time. There's still hope. There's still a chance. That's all you need. That's all you need. Heliolisk. Always got to do that once, right? Just once. Try not to do that more than once for a video, because, you know, I'm sure it sure it aggravates some people. But perhaps some, you know, just can't wait for me to do that voice. I don't know. I could be very wrong, though. Who knows? So, Lola Nine Tails and a Charizard. I should keep the Charizard separate, just because... Yeah, Charizard and Blastoise are the couple of rares in the set. Oh, exactly like 12 I'll probably pull out. Eh, whatever. <laughs> They'll all get sorted out. Eventually. Eventually. So there's the Electro Charger, which can come in a Seeker Rare. And a Dactyl, which is a feasible, viable card to use in play. I think those are the same three uncommons we got earlier, so that, that's still a thing as well, where you can get these same uncommons, sometimes in back-to-back -back packs. And we got a Prism coming up. No, it's just a Dark type. Never mind. Never mind. False Alarm. Just a Zorua that... Yeah. Return Label Reverse. Primeape. Primeape. Sabrina suggested. I haven't gotten a floor at Sabrina in a long time, I feel. Granted, it did take me 1,186 packs until we pulled any of the three different full art dudes from the set. So, you know. But here comes something. Here comes a little something something. Oh, well, there's, there's, there's the commons. Reverse Pidgey and a full art. Shiny shine that shines so bright. Gengar and Mimikyu GX. We'll take that. We'll take that. That's better than, uh, that's probably our best pull so far. Probably our best, most valuable pull thus far. Gengar Mimikyu GX Full Art. Not the alternate art. The regular full art. But that's totally okay. And that is the only, uh, tag team in this set. Well, actually, Latios, Latios as well. It's one, it's one of the two out of five tag teams that are in the set that you can't get within a promo product. Wait, one of the... Two out of six, right? Shaman Prism. So let's see, you've got you've got the Picaram, the Venusaur Celebi, and the Eevee Snorlax. Those three tag teams you can get in the newest tins. Well, they seem to have been really underprinted because we can't restock them right now. No distributors seem to have more of them, so we ran out of those real quick. And uh, as much as we want to, we seem to not be able to get more right now. Don't know if more are on the way or not, but we shall see. We shall see. And then you got the Latias Latios tag team and the Gengar Mimikyu Jux we just got there, which aren't any promo procs. And then within the set, you also have the Waylord Magikarp, which you can't get as regular art in the set because it had a GX box that had the regular art 
version in it. So there are six different tag teams in the set, two of which, Gengar Mimikyu plus Latios and Latias, that you can only get from within the booster set. So they are arguably the toughest two to get then, I guess you could say, just since you don't have any guaranteed ways of getting the other than via by buying singles, of course. So if you want the Magikarp Waylord, you can just buy the promo box. If you want one of the other three Jexes I named, you can buy the tin. But if you want that Gengar Mimikyu, or if you want the Latias Latios, you got to be opening these packs or buying singles, or you're not going to get them. So there's the full art Latias and Latios GX. Kind of right on cue there. Will be a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, that was the alternate art. Because last I checked at least, Latias Latios, still the cheapest tag team in the set, I think in all rarities, except for the alternate art full art, where they're making a heart, and I call them the love duo. Um, that, I believe, is the most expensive of the, I think, three different alternate art full arts in the set. So that's the one time you really want to find the Latias Latios tag team. But uh, also, on Twitch... Dot TV slash the game capital. Uh, one of the main decks I've been using that I only do some more visions to before I start streaming tonight, probably zero or a hollow, is uh, featuring Latias and Latios tag team. Uh, right now I've got Macargo in there, which isn't necessary, so I gotta drop that and beef up my Malamar line from three three to four four, and I need to get a third Latios Latias tag team because in the events that one is prized or one gets knocked out early, I, I basically want two of them in play uh, with the skateboards on them so I can switch between them. So I can attack with one, and then next turn I can use Malamar to power them up, multiple Malamars, to power up one on the bench, and then retreat into that and lather, rinse, repeat. Because you need to discard three energy from it to do 240 damage. So you need to have either an energy in hand every turn, plus two Malamars in play, Hello, Tar -tar, uh, to be able to restock with three energies each turn. Or you need three Malamars in play if you have no energy in hand to get, you know, an attack off every single turn. So, that's the tricky part. It's especially tricky when you face decks that are all one prize attackers. Those are a lot more awkward. Um, I had a viewer battle last night against Lan EX, who was using a deck using Zirkatry, um, non-GX, Zirkatry Ultra Beast, that can do 20 and confuse for one energy. Also had three Parasects on their bench basically the whole game. Um, Parasect has an ability, Shaman Prism, uh, which does 20 damage between turns to the opposing Pokemon. What is that? What is this? Someone bleed over the card? What 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 happened here? I don't know. Well, there's like extra ink up here too, isn't there? Or is that not as part of the art? That's just some weird defect. I don't know. I don't know. I'll save that out. Omanite, Rompile, Tauros. That goes over there. So yeah, um, I got down to, well, I had two prizes left in that game, and I thought I was going to get down to one prize my last turn, but I had one card left in the deck, and I think like two or three cards in hand, and they played Judge on their last turn to make me shuffle my hand in my deck, and then draw four cards, which left me with no deck, so once it became my turn, uh, I could not draw and I lost. I, I would have been able to get one more prize off, but due to the size left in the deck, uh, I, I had no way to get two more prizes. So I think I also need to add like a Brock's Grit or something. A Brock's Grit, coincidentally, uh, to the deck just to uh, get some extra energy back into hand if I need to. Because um, obviously, like I said, with Malamar, you can get him back into play, but you can't get him back into hand to do your attachment for turns. So I think I need to do that. Use a Brock's Grit or Energy Recycler or something like that. One of those cards to get energy back out of the discard pile, either back into the deck or into your hand. We got one pack left of this one. I see some shine coming up here, though. What we got? What we got? Joltik Reverse and Gengar Mimikyu GX. Not bad, not bad. All right. That will then bring us to our last pack. Last chance for glory. Now, I'll mention right away, any cards you see opened in this video, or basically any video on this channel, we're opening trading cards. Uh, all the stuff we open will be available either in our storefront the Game Capital in De Pere, Wisconsin, and it will be available on our website, thegamecapital.com. So make sure you're checking that out and looking for whatever you may be uh, searching for, like your decks or your collections or whatever it may be. But for our last pack, we've got a Ponyard. 
Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Mareep, Charmander, Vullaby Reverse, and Lapras is the rare. Yes, I didn't do the pack trick, but then I'll just probably show the code anyway, and then you'll you'll be spoiled. Hibon Chan with that derpy artwork, but it's it, it's cool. It's cool. It's kind of stretching there too. Is, is that aerobic exercise there? I don't know. Maybe Hitman Chan's doing yoga. I don't know. But that concludes this stack of packs opening. Hopefully you enjoyed. Please subscribe. Rock smash that like button. Again, visit the gamecapital.com for your Pokemon card and other TCG needs. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure you're following me on twitch.tv slash thegamecapital. Oh, oh, oh. And by the way, by the way, no fooling, no fooling. I'm planning for an April 1st relaunch of Pokemon Pack Daily on the Poke Capital channel. I know some of you that are watching this may have come from the Poke Capital channel, and I sent a video on there that I wasn't uploading there anymore, and you can subscribe, subscribe here instead, and not worry about the Poke Capital, but I'm bringing back Pokemon Pack Daily. Um, I haven't decided if it's going to be just weekdays or every day. Probably every day, because that's kind of the premise. Um, so those videos, starting April 1st, because it's a Monday, and it's a new month, so it just makes sense to me, and and then I could do that little, <laughs> no fooling, it, it's true. It's it's April Fools, but no jokes. Pokemon Pack Daily, it's coming back. The plan is April first. The Poke Capital, and the videos will probably go live at six a.m. Eastern every day. I open one boost pack each day with extra hype, extra gusto to help jumpstart your day, help replace that morning cup of coffee or whatever it may be. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully I'll go over well. And uh, yeah, and uh, I also hope to have uh, daily Beyblade content coming soon to Beyblades. 24 7 channel um depending on how that channel does i might end up having those videos end up on this channel instead and just and not have three channels going but we'll see we'll see because i i have like a long many many year following on that older channel so i'm not sure what the videos would do if i brought them directly here so i'm going to start with beyblade content hopefully daily on beyblades 24 7 and depending on what that does i'll either just keep all that content going on that channel or i might migrate that to be over on here i don't know we'll see how it goes um but if all goes well if all goes well you guys will soon have daily content on this channel you'll have pokemon pack daily on the poke capital you'll have daily beyblade battles and or unboxings on beyblades 24 7 and i stream at least three times a week on twitch.tv slash the game capital so if you want to see more and more and more of me I'm trying to give you guys more and more opportunities to hear and see more from me. So hopefully all will go well and hopefully they'll all be well received. So I've rambled enough. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time, possibly on Twitch, where I'll be live about an hour after this video should be going live. See you then, everybody.